I'd like to share a song with you from my second book, Critters, Woods, and Water. I wrote this song back when I was living down on Falcons Creek uh, in the Ozark Mountains, and I had some neighbors that lived about a mile upstream, and they had this really neat outdoor cafe they had kind of built. They called it the Rocky Grove Cafe. It was a summer kitchen they have in the Ozark Mountains, and sometimes I'd walk up early in the morning because I thought, well, if I got there in time, I'd get invited to breakfast, being a single guy. Well, one morning I got up there, and I was sitting on the up in one of the chairs and their mama cat was right on the floor and I noticed this walking stick came walking along. Now walking sticks are insects and they're, they, they're the praying mantis and the walking stick both have these long bodies with their six legs. The difference being praying mantis are carnivores, they eat other insects, whereas the walking stick is an herbivore and it eats leaves. Well. <laughs> I was just sitting there watching this walking stick mind its own business going across that floor when my friend's mama cat decided to go over there and she just took her paw and bat she hit that walking stick and then to my surprise I saw that cat then you know being a cat kind of play with it and then she started chewing on this walking stick well it prompted me to make up a little song about that experience it's called mama cat goes to lunch, and it goes like this. Once there was a mama cat who caught a walking stick While I watched her crunch the head, the legs were in a fix While the cat chewed on the head, the legs began to flee But without their little brains, six legs ran helpless Lee, Mama Cat reached out again and grabbed the walking stick. When she ate a leg or two, it almost made me sick. Now four legs ran all around in circles on the floor. So the cat reached out again and helped herself once more. She then pinned the walking stick and grabbed the running legs. She stuck two inside her mouth and chewed like scrambled eggs as she licked and chewed on these two more fell to the ground but without their brains to lead the legs flopped round and round mama cat now had her lunch the walking stick was gone so i walked inside the house and wrote this little song the second song i'd like to share with you this morning is a song called my gal and I wrote this uh, back in those Ozark Mountains uh, about the same time actually that I I think it was when I about the, about the time that I uh, did Mountain Water that I've shared with you and oh no one day being back on Falcons Creek I got to thinking about it'd be nice to have a girlfriend somebody to hang out with back in these mountains and these woods and as you know the moms and dads with their kids in the schoolhouse and uh, the boy you know it'd be nice to have a girlfriend so I decided to make up a little song about that. It's called My Gal. It goes like this. Pork in some hay, cheeks as pink as a pumpkin seed belongs out on the farm. Hairy legs and big green eyes, she fills me with her charm. As a petal on a rose, but tougher than a nail. Works all day in the garden patch. Comes in how late, who knows? Woke this 
morning to give her a kiss and have flowers between her toes. close my session with you today, I'd like to perform a magic trick. Uh, this magic trick is a little bit different, has required a lot of concentration. Uh, this is a historic, has a historical basis. Uh, and so what I'm going to do, ladies and gentlemen, now what you may see that this is an ordinary bandana or a handkerchief, and I am going to use this bandana to perform a transformation. Now, there's transmigration, as in transmigration of the soul. What that means is that many people around the world for centuries, and maybe even today in places, they believe that when they die, they turn into things. So, for example, old sailors used to believe if they died at sea, that they would turn into gulls, or they would turn into petrels and different, um, you know, shore birds. And then, also up in the northeast woods of uh, Maine and in Canada, the loggers in those old days, they believed that they were killed in the woods during the logging season, that they would turn into a bird called a gorby. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the magic that I'm going to perform for you today is I'm going to take this ordinary bandana, excuse me, <laughs> this ordinary handkerchief, and I am going to use it to perform a historical transformation. By putting this, by using this bandana, I am going to turn into someone who you perhaps have never seen, but you probably have read about them or heard about them through time and stories. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Watch very carefully. No string and no wire, no trap door. Well, there is something in my hands this time. On the count of three, ladies and gentlemen, a historical transformation is about to occur before your very eyes. Watch carefully. One, two, three! Grandmother, what big eyes you have! All the better to see you. Grandmother, maybe it's the new toothpaste, but what big teeth you have. All the better. Eat you with, my dear. And grandmother, that's some magic trick.